what you're about to see is a quick review of our homemade fans and a step-by-step -step guide of the modifications we made. Over the past six months, we've been experiencing its actual functionality and today we're able to go through the things we like and dislike and we will show you all the improvements we made. Overall, the things we liked most is the system to secure the fans in place. We absolutely love it. It slides perfectly, it's firm and robust. It's not actually good looking, but it really does its job properly. And now the downside. When cutting big and large pieces, the fence bends slightly under the pressure, as you might have noticed from other videos. The reason why is that the back support piece is too small and the plywood we use for the actual fence is too thin. So what we're gonna do is to replace the fence with a thicker piece of 4 cm plywood and we're gonna make the back support bigger. Now we're cutting the two pieces for the fence and the back support. And this is how the three pieces go together. Now it's just a matter of squaring up, drilling and screwing the fence in place. Here we are attaching the support piece with screws and glue. After squaring up the fence with the rail, the guide is secured with screws and glue. I'm now drilling holes to secure the locking mechanisms to the fence guide, as shown in here. And now it's time to put everything together. Comparing the two fences, you can clearly see how thick and robust the new fence is. Plus, workpieces slides a lot easier, thanks to the glossy finish. Thanks for watching and ciao!